Hello, class. Hi. Can you hear me? Jorge, Olga, Emily, Suleyma, escuchan. Good evening. Yes. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. Excellent. Okay. Hello, oh, for Beatrice. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, Jorge, Olga, Suleyma. Están por ahí. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. All right. Jorge, are you there? Jorge, are you there? No? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Pretty good. Thank you. Great. Excellent. Okay. Good to see you. And Karina, welcome. Welcome. To How are Hi. you? Fine. Good. Good, good. Yes. Happy that we only have one more day left. Really? I didn't know that. No, I mean, one more day of the week. Uh. <laughs> yes, only one more day of the week. Yes, and then fr only Friday, and then we have the weekend. So I'm happy about that. Yes, me too. <laughs> Hello, Nelson. Oh, Nelson. Nelson's not there anymore. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys, about yesterday. I don't know what happened. Zoom took me out and then I couldn't open. I couldn't open Zoom anymore. So I'm very sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but I really appreciate your, your patience and that you all uh, you know, reported your, your attendance. So thank you very much. Um, Hello, Suleyma. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Um, how was your day? Um, very quickly very hard but fine it was quickly and hard is that what you said oh vale. está lloviendo teacher casi no lo entendí you said it was quick and is that what you said Sorry, did you say it was it was a quick day? Quick, quick. Yes, I am. I I am uh, running the place and place mm. because I I have so much work. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's well, <clears throat> that, it's good to have a lot of work because you keep busy. That's the important thing, right? Okay, well guys, we're gonna take attendance. So let's start uh, with Annie. Is Annie here? No? Ana Maria? <clears throat> Ana Maria? No, Ana Maria, you see, I, I guess she can, she can look at you. Okay, okay. Yay. 
Okay. Um, Carolina? Carolina? Hmm. She's not here. Emily? Present. All right. Welcome, Emily. Hazel? Hazel? Um, Joanna? Joanna? No? Uh, Jorge? Teacher. Okay. Welcome, Jorge. Karina? Present. Okay, welcome, Karina. Carla? Carla? Kevin? Kevin? Linda? Linda? Marlene? Marlene? Nelson? Present. Okay, welcome, Nelson. Uh, Norma? Okay. Norma? Uh, Olga? Present teacher. Well, okay, great. Uh, Miguel? Miguel? Rocio? Rocio? Beatriz? Present teacher. Okay. Um, welcome. Suleima? Suleima? Present. All right. Welcome, Suleima. Present. Yeah, I gotcha. Thank you. Um, Um, Tatiana, all right, she's having connection problems. Uh, Nelson, uh, A. Nelson, A, no. Um, Omar. Omar. Um, Suleima Melgar, Rodrigo. Okay, all right. Um, so I'm going to just quickly say the people that I didn't hear. Um, I didn't hear Ani, Ana Maria, Carolina, um, Hazel, Joanna. Present teacher. Oh, welcome, Joanna. Thank you. Um, I didn't hear Carla, Santiago, Linda, Marlene. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, I didn't hear Norma, 
Miguel? Present. Mm -hmm. Present teacher. Present. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, I understand that it was done in the first part. And I didn't hear Tatiana. All right, did I miss anybody else? Okay, all right. Okay. Um, do, can you guys hear me or can you hear me okay? Yes. 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 Hi, teacher, can you hear me? Um, Yes. Okay. <laughs> I can hear you too. Mm -hmm. But I, I had a problem with my audio. Oh, okay. Okay. But now you're okay, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. All right, guys. Um, so, yeah, sorry about yesterday. Um, I don't know what happened, but Zoom crashed and it didn't want to open. Um, so, and I, I, I could have, I, I could have, um, like restarted my computer, but anyways, it was going to be late by the time it started. And so that's why I said, I just, you know, but, um, but I really do appreciate the fact that, um, you guys stayed on. So I really, really appreciate that. Okay. So what we're going to do right now, um, I'm going to share my PowerPoint. Teacher, I'm here. Good evening. Uh, who? Carla. Oh, Carla. Where's Carla, Carla? Yes, I'm sorry, I'm late. Carla. But I'm here. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't hear the attendance. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear the attendance? No, I didn't hear. But I guess for, oh, that's weird because for some reason I, I heard you present, but because you were trying to open up your microphone. But I did hear it. Okay, so don't worry about it. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to share my. Uh -huh, I'm going to share my. Estos son iguales, solo que. All right. Um, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. So we're going to be looking at component components of effective branding conversation. Uh, your facilitator, Guerrero, since Guerrero, Sintermina 3, it's May, number, it's May 26, 2022, and it's class number 18. Okay, so we're going to do what we were supposed to do yesterday, which was to discuss these two questions. Remember, I told you to forget about this, right? Right now we're not, oops, uh, let's make it black. Red is too much. <laughs> um, okay, so let's forget about this right now. And I have these two questions that I want you to discuss. Is a weak brand a good investment? And what happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? Okay, do we understand these questions? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect. All right. So I want you to get into your break. We're gonna, I'm going to send you breakout rooms. And you're going to discuss those questions with a partner. And I'll give you about seven minutes to discuss it. Or eight, eight, eight minutes better. Okay, so here we go. Let's open the rooms. Remember, only those two questions. Carolina. Okay. 
Carolina. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Ahorita me salgo. Okay. Thank you. Ahora me quiero finalizar todo. Uh, I, I can find the, the book. Okay. Just let me um, try to find the book. What page is it? Do you know? What did you say? What page is it? I think that is 23. I don't remember. I'm not sure. Uh, it's page 27. Okay. So it's a weight brand, a good investment. I think that no. Because you lost your reputation. Which of growth? I don't know. I think that is a bad investment. I think that in some cases, the brand just need more capital to grow. And I think that this is a product it's a rentable product. Um, it can be a great um, investment. But you have to do. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 If not not uh, have no give me my expectation, I I consider that this bad product and and I don't and I don't buy buy of new this product okay uh, for me i think if if that product or, or brand doesn't doesn't meet uh, consumer expectation and the product doesn't doesn't like i don't i don't want to buy a this kind of product and mm -hmm. the product is i think is in decline lose mm -hmm. a lot of clients and maybe in a, a little bit time uh, maybe it's broken mm -hmm. yes i agree because uh, if the product not not um doesn't like uh, no cumple con las expectativas mm -hmm. the, the consumers no no buy this product and and this brand don't have the money for for continue yes it's going to to broken yes definitely uh, uh, in that part, I think uh, there are a lot of uh, brand or product that are, that uh, doesn't exist right now because uh, don't have a successful that the the owner think 
the product could be could be do. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's necessary the people uh, buy this product for the owner uh, pay salaries and and taxes. All the all the 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 what say um direct cost and indirect cost mm -hmm. if, yeah. if if the owner can't uh, pay all the the cost uh the the product uh definitely doesn't 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 be continuing the market Mm -hmm. Yes. What what other thing about that? Mm -hmm. uh, I I think that uh, the the owner of of brand prefer uh, this. Diminuir uh, quality. Reduce. Uh -huh. uh, quality uh, of the product. And, and they have, um, they have, I uh, menos, como se dice, less, less sale, sales. Less. Uh, yes, uh, reduce the, the sales. Uh huh. Yes. Yes, este, which could be an example of of the, the brand that doesn't meet consumer expectation. Which do you think could be a, an example? For example, um, biggest, do you think? Yes, I, I think Pollo Campero with the pizzas. Mm, telepizza, maybe. No. Telepizza is part of it, or it was part for Pollo Campero. Yes. But, yes, but this product is is uh, bad quality. Yes, then people doesn't like and don't buy that pizza. Then yes, people Pollo don't Campero. like. Yes, uh, then, then, mm -hmm. then the company Pollo Campero uh, decide to not to to make that that product because the people doesn't doesn't buy the product and remember people don't people not people don't, don't. Not people, don't. Mm -hmm. people don't buy the product and uh, and and the product uh, maybe is is decline or the sales are declined. Mm -hmm. Yes, I prefer. Yes, I, I prefer pay more money uh, and eat a good pizza, other pizza, and that prefer telepizza. I don't prefer telepizza. Maybe uh, Pollo Campero in that part have, has many competitors uh -huh. with, with best quality of the ingredients and flavor and taste. Uh -huh. Then uh, the product doesn't 
doesn't was a, a, a good pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, repeat, please. A other example for you? Um, let me think. Uh, I don't remember the name, but I I remember there there was a teeth, teeth brush or teeth paste pasta de dientes teeth paste or Tooth. yes, pasta de dientes. Tooth. I think, Toothpaste. Uh, Toothpaste. Yes, toothpaste. The, the name I remember was Pepsod. And I think it was it was Pepsod, but uh, I think I don't know. I'm not sure, but it doesn't exist right now. Maybe because okay. uh, the people doesn't like. The product and does uh, buy the product. Okay. In my case, for example, in the work, uh, my boss decide uh, to uh, hire or contratar uh, the, the, the telephone service with Tigo. Mm -hmm. They, they, ellos no, ay, ¿cómo se dice? They offer the best service with the signal and in mm -hmm. internet. Be, but is the bad, bad. Hello, Marlene. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Uh -huh. I'm great. It's, it's a lunch. <laughs> what? I'm alone. <laughs> You're alone? Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's, I think it's the working in the group, but I yeah. don't have Don't worry. Yeah. Right now, I'm going to bring everybody back, so don't worry about it. Ah, okay. That. Okay. All right. Thanks, I'm everybody. Okay. Okay, so you guys are ready, right? You finished? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so I'm going to um, discuss this question. Let's talk about these two questions. Um, first question, is a weak brand a good investment? I think no, teacher, because um, if, if the product is not good, uh, it's, a, it's a bad investment and a risk of losing your money. Okay. I think that if you uh, apparently see the brand, uh, it can be a bad idea. But some brands, for example, just need some capital to grow. And if you invest uh, with the correct way, um, I think that it can be a good idea. Okay, all right, very good. Any other ideas?
I think it's a bad idea, teacher, because uh, I think you need uh, uh, a lot of work to to change that that happened with this brand. You have to to make a big effort. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Anything else? Anything else that you guys want to share? No, nothing else? Okay, all right, then let's talk about the next question. The next question is, what happens when a brand doesn't meet uh, consumers' expectations? I think the client or the customer are the reason for the company. If the company don't know the other customers, the company don't have the sale, don't have the profit. Don't have or doesn't have? Doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Because it's the, the company, yeah. it, right? Yes, doesn't have. Mm -hmm. And will be the company break? Okay. Okay, very good. What else? Mm -hmm. This will increase the return and the brand is up here. Sorry, I, I wasn't able to hear you. Could you repeat that one more time? If the sale decrease, the, the brand uh, may be disappeared. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Anything else? Yeah. I consider, teacher, if the, the product or the brand doesn't like to people, uh, people uh, don't, don't buy the product and the, it's going to be declined and maybe later it's broken okay mm -hmm. very good anything else any other ideas mm -hmm. uh for me, uh, sales go sales go down, and and therefore uh, income and and there is, is accumulation product inventory. There's an there's a build up. Uh, there's a build up of of inventory. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And build up. Okay. Can you see that? A build up. About, pardon? A build up. A build up. A build up. A build up. What is the meaning of that picture? Uh, accumulation or? A build up. A build up. Ah. Thank you. All right. Uh, any other ideas? Um, teacher, I think that when a brand offers so much advantage or product uh, of the product and they didn't meet expectative, their, their sales aren't good. Okay, okay, good. What else? I don't know if I'm um, very positive, but I think that if 
the, the brand can survive is if someone makes a good investment, a good marketing investigation. And yeah, it can help to grow up. Okay, so you, you believe it's possible? Yes, I think. Okay, that's, that's okay. That's good. All right. Okay. What do you guys think about that? Just a different point of view, but it's possible, right? So what do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you think it's not possible? Tell me about it. I think, I think it's possible, but I don't remember one case that happened in the early past. In the what? In the early past for say something. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to move on to the next activity. Uh, I'm going to share. Please tell me, can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. So after having discussed those questions, we're going to be reading a conversation between Andrew and Vincent. And as usual, I'm going to get you guys to close your microphone so that we can all practice the conversation. Are you ready? Yeah? Yes, sure. Okay, good. So, um, close, your, close your microphones, guys, everybody. Make sure your microphone is closed. Okay, so let's uh, start. Watch this ad, I'm sorry, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a, flat, like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. But a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Okay. 
All right, guys, so now it's your turn to tell me words that you don't, you're not sure about the pronunciation. You can, of course, write it in the chat. Remember, this is the way that we improve our pronunciation, so don't be afraid of um, writing words down, or right, writing the words. Remember, this is the pronunciation only. Is that it? There. Okay, here we go. First word, float. Float. Mm-hmm. And please Flop. open up your microphone so I can hear you. I, I, I want to make sure that you are pronouncing it correctly. Float. 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 Good. Feather. 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 Either. 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 Regardless. 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 But re rewind. But pretend I didn't say that. Uh, I wanted to mention this. This word here, you can say either. Either or it can also be pronounced either. 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 So the two forms either. are valid. The two forms. Either. Either. Repeat. Either. 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 Yes. So the two forms are, are acceptable. Okay. <coughs> All right. All right, now let's continue. Regardless. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. And the other one is fuss. 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 So this is, remember what I always tell you about the U. The U is not normally pronounced like a U. It's normally pronounced like a uh in English. So it's fa, fuss. 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 Mm -hmm. Fuss. Yes. Okay. 
next. We're going to be telling right in the chat words that you don't understand the meaning. Okay. So go ahead and put the words in the chat. Okay, that, that is it. Yes? Okay. All right. Um, let's. Um, oh, okay. Let's put more. Is that it now? Okay. Feather, let's talk about the word feather. Feather is uh, what birds have. To be able to fly, birds have feathers, right? And um, normally it's say that feathers um, kind of look like, the, um, for example, I'm gonna try to draw a feather, a very, simple feather. It's two. It's very simple. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, hold on. I feel like a little kid drawing. Okay, you know a leaf? So similar to a leaf, but it's for, um, it's for a, um, it's for birds, let's say. Similar to a leaf, but for birds. They had kind of like this. Just more like this. Does that make sense? Or no, not really. Like uh, the meaning is oha or? No, that's. No, this is feather. Let me try to write. I'm really bad at drawing, so. Mm -hmm. I'm really bad. Maybe at we it. can say that it is Loma. Exactly, yes, yeah. Mm, that's what it is, okay? So it's what helps the, the birds to fly, okay? Does that make sense? No, teacher, I... I don't hear the, that part. Okay, um, a bird, a, a bird a helps, a, a, they, they fly with the help of their, of their feathers. They have feathers all over. Wow. Yeah? So Feather, that, the, cover, the cover of the birds. Yeah, let's say that it's a cover. 
I'm really bad drawer. I'm so sorry. I, I won't be able to draw that. But but yeah, exactly. It's what it was. It's what covered the birds. Okay. Love that. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about either. There are many meanings to the word either, but in this context, it means like I wouldn't either. It means I wouldn't do it. Me too. It's like saying me too. I wouldn't do it. So he says, Vincent says, I wouldn't get a pair of those shoes. They're too expensive. And Andrea says, yeah, me too. Like I wouldn't either. I, I would act the same way. So in Spanish, it's like saying, yo tampoco. tampoco. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have regardless. Regardless means it doesn't matter. So it says make customers buy it. It doesn't matter the price. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. And fuss. The fuss is like the commotion. You understand the commotion? You know, it's a commotion in Spanish, commotion. What is commotion in Spanish? Commotion. Yeah. Commotion. Commotion. Mm -hmm. So it's like saying um, what they will be. I think they, um, I think I'll buy a pair to see what all the commotion or all the excitement is about what everybody is talking about is about. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, good. All right, excellent. Okay, so now that we've we've seen the vocabulary, we understand the, the, the pronunciation, let's actually practice the conversation between Andrea and Vincent, and then looking at the at the conversation, complete the sentences. Okay, so a brand that delivers what is promised, blah, 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 regardless of price. They, da, 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 all these people, da, 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 da their shoes. Do you agree with the first statement discuss with a partner? So you're gonna discuss with your partner, better said not discuss, you're gonna be practicing the conversation with your partner. One time you're gonna be Andrea, the second time you're gonna be Vincent. And then after you finish doing that, uh, you discuss the questions at the bottom there. Does that make sense? Yes? Yes, it's fine. Yes. Okay. All right, let's stop shipping and let's put you into break rooms. Um, I think we can we can keep the same breakout rooms, okay? So here we go. Carolina de ahorita puede ir haciendo los preparativos necesarios. Um, give me a moment.
entrepreneurial. Because I was with with Olga in Carolina. Ah, okay. <laughs> but I'm asking. I don't know. It is the is the the same group as the the, the beginning of the class. Teacher, could you help us, please? What's the problem? Um, Rocio is um, what Rocio? Rocio. What happened? Uh, it's supposed she isn't in the same group that uh the last uh, oh, breakup group. No, oh, it's okay. Don't worry. That's not a, that's not a big deal. Because you're not the same group. It's okay. The important thing is that you're working with somebody. Okay. So we are okay. going to complete first a brand that can you see my face? My yes. Thank my you so much. Okay. A brand that delivers what it promises. Okay, veamos. Makes. A brand that delivers what is promises. Makes. Yes. Makes customers buy it. They, they get uh -huh. get all these people to buy to buy to buy their shoes. Do you agree with the first statement? What is the first statement? What is the statement meaning? I think about. <clears throat> ah. Okay. Mm. I think that um, if I uh, buy again a product, um, um, I, I'm a customer very observative and, and if I go at, uh, at the store, I see the the customer service, first of all. Um, I, I see many things uh, just uh, to only think that I will be buy the, the, this same product just uh, for the premises. The, that the product is good, for example, I have to... Promises. Promises. Ay, tengo un problema con esa palabra, Dios mío. It's okay. It's okay. You will you will remember it. As long as you say it many, many times. Promises. Promises. <laughs> promises. 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 Y promesa, prom, 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 promise, or promise. No, promise. Promise. Oh my promise. Gosh. Okay, promise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you are going to pay whatever that they ask if they uh, that the product does the things that they are promise promise I forgot promise 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 <laughs> I forgot promises promises okay that's me. That you are going to pay the price 
if the product uh, I think that I have to to um, listen um, to a people that buy this uh, product uh, a time ago uh, to verify the quality for this product. And if it's uh, truth, I take a decision to buy this product. But I, I'm not like, a, como se llama eso? Uh, el customer, el customer, customer. el cliente compulsivo, ¿cómo se llama eso? Yeah. What is the meaning of this teacher? Impulse. Es I, I think that I'm not. Um, impulse I'm buyer. Uh -huh. impulse buyer. buyer. Yes, I think. Uh, many times if I need this product. No. Bueno, pero yo sabrá por qué también, ¿verdad? Sí, así es. Sí, sí hay que tener control. paciencia. Ok, amén. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Finish. Finish, teacher. Oh, you finished? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll see you in the main room then. Okay. Um, the, mar the marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Okay. Now, you have to be under it. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a, pair, get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promised make customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department shows good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Is about. Okay. We already finished, teacher. No. Okay, perfect. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm hoping that everybody had opportunity of um, a practice in the conversation. Now we're going to we're going to be um, taking attendance. 
So please uh, listen for your name and tell me if you're here. Uh, Ani? Ani? Ana Maria? Carolina? Present. Welcome. And uh, Emily? Present teacher. Great. Hazel? So, yo hemos perdido un montón en el camino. Yes, we start with like 22 classmates. I think it's raining. No, 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 no but I mean right now, like, I, I'm talking about like right now, the, since the moment um, I put you in the, in the breakout rooms until this moment, I, I, I see, I feel that there are men, there are less students. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're right, but maybe it's because it's raining. I don't know. Okay, yeah. seeing you. Um, Hazel? Joanna? Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Thank you. Jorge? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Karina? Present. Great. Carla? Present teacher. Um, great. Um, Kevin. Kevin Santiago. Linda. Present teacher. Great. Marlene. Present. Welcome. Marlene, uh, can we see your face? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> ah, there she is. Okay. <laughs> great. In her comfortable bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nelson? Present. Great. Norma? Present teacher. Great. Welcome, Norma. Olga? Present. Great. Uh, Miguel? Present teacher. Great. Rocio? Rocio? Uh, Beatriz? Present. All right, welcome. Suleima? Present. Great. And Tatiana? Tatiana? Okay, um, Nelson, Ivan. Um, Omar. Suleima Milgar. And Jose Rodrigo. Okay. All right, guys. So let's uh, discuss um, what you guys were um, the questions that you guys were discussing with your partner. Um, may, can you, can, can you tell me please if you can see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Now, before anything, I want to call attention to this wordy here that, um, Mm, okay, yeah, let me, let me um, talk about this word that I have here um, that I've heard many people mispronouncing. So if you are one of those, don't worry that you're not alone. Okay, many, many people I heard uh, while I was visiting the groups, I heard people saying uh, promise or promises and it's promises, pro, ah, ah, ah. Promises, okay, promises, okay. Can everybody say that with me? Because I just want to make sure that everybody got it. Promises. 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 Yes, very good. Okay, 
wrong. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's um, complete the, ex the exercises here. So we have, look at the conversation and complete the sentences below. A brand that delivers makes what is promise, what it promises. Make. Promises, nice. Makes, right, okay, hold on, I'm going to. Make a man. Okay, a brand that makes what is what it sorry, a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Okay. Next, number two. They get they get they get they get they get all the people, people to, to buy they to shoes. buy their shares. They to get all these people. To buy, to buy, mm -hmm. to buy, buy their shoes. Their shoes. Their shoes. Good. All right. So, what do you guys think about this? Do you agree with the first statement? A brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. So it doesn't matter how much you have to pay for it. People buy it because they know that they they give people what they promise. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. The shoes are being really bad. Uh, not necessary, teacher. No? Why not? Uh, because the most of the time depends on the price, maybe, I think. Or depend mm -hmm. on the product that you are trying to buy. Okay, good. Anything else? We were talking with Linda that we both agree because, for example, we think in a in a example that is the mayonnaise McCormick that there are another uh, brands that are cheaper than than it in the in the market but we prefer to buy my mayonnaise McCormick because it was better it tastes better and has a better quality okay good 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 um just be careful it's not mayonnaise it's my mayonnaise mayonnaise Mayonnaise. Yes. Okay. Mayonnaise. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Very good. Any other any other ideas? Any other things that you guys want to share? No? Okay. All right. So having said that, um, we're going to move on to the next part. And if you notice over here, we, we're using two verbs. What are the verbs that we're using? What verbs are we using? Make and get. Make and get. Exactly. Make and get. Those are two, the two verbs that we're using. So... Um, Let's talk about make and get. The difference between make versus get. Um, basically, make and get have the idea or give the idea in you when you were talking about causative, it gives the idea of um, convincing, persuading, or forcing someone to do something. Okay? Yeah? It, so we can use make and get to, to talk about that you convince, you force, or you persuade somebody to do something, okay? The difference really between the two, you can choose any one you want. Uh, well, 
one is the diff one of the differences, the major differences here, is um, the the grammatical structure. In this one, mm -hmm. the the grammatical structure is make plus someone, whoever it is, right? Someone could be him, her, uh, them, my mother, my father, um, you know. Why? My, yeah. Me and my class, et cetera, et cetera. And the get, we use also someone, but in this case, it's with the infinitive. So the difference, basically, the difference is this part right here. One uses the verb in the base form, and the other one uses the infinitive. Okay? So if you notice, um, we have the marketing department makes. Let me see, makes, okay. employees. Employees is a sum one. And they revise goals and metrics every month. If you notice revise, um, it's the verb in the base form. Okay. The market department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. The poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. So again, we're using the same structure that I just pointed out, which is a first make, but in this case, it's made in the past. So you can form use any form of make. It can be the present, the past, the future, it doesn't matter. And then uh, we use the the someone, in this case, the someone is people. And then the base form of the verb, which is look. Okay. The product from different companies. Okay, sorry, the, pro the, sorry, the brand experience offered by Samsung made customers prefer their, pro, uh, their mobile phones. Okay, um, so it means they, they offered, they persuaded, okay. they convinced. Oh, here. And then we have the, the someone is consumers. And finally, we have the verb, which is prefer. So you can see how all of them have make in any form, make in the simple present, make in the simple past, and make in the in the in the future tense. It doesn't matter. Make. Then we use someone, which is like in this case, employees, people, or customers. And then the base form of the verb. So the verb without any change, nothing at all. Let's take it exactly as it is. So we have revise, look, and prefer. All of those verbs are in the original form, no, no change. Mm -hmm. Now, in the form, in when we use get, though, it's a little different. Get, after using get, we use the word someone. So for example, we have, I can get customers no, services. So we have get here, same. Okay. Um, and then uh, someone would be the customers, right? Hold on, give me a moment. So here's the customers um, to love, right? Um, okay, so here we have the infinitive. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I haven't, I haven't uh, done this one, someone. Someone, it would be the customer, right? And then the infinitive, the two infinitive, we always use the two infinitive. So we end up with um, something like this. Uh, to love is the infinitive of love. Okay. So the same thing here. The project manager said it. it is not possible to get all these customers to feel identity with the brand, brand in the short time. So once again, we have um, get, oh, sorry, in this case, it's to get, right? B 
because oh sorry i made a mistake here too give me a moment so we have to get here and actually the mistake i made is it's not just can it's not just get but it can get so we're using uh, the um the mod the modal um uh, yeah the modal auxiliary basically with get okay and then we have the someone right oh yeah sorry yeah the someone and the someone would be all those those customers Give me a moment. All those customers is the someone. And in this case, we use the to infinitive to feel. Okay. The last one, the advertising events will get people to order products online more often. So here we're using uh, the get. Um, we'll get with the with the future. Okay, so you can form you can put any form of get, and after that comes the the person. In this case, it's people, and finally we put the order. Right, using the to infinitive to order. Okay, and the same thing here. We have it. I have a little bit more exercise, exercise, exercises for you to see better. We have, after Billy broke the neighbor's window, his parents made him pay for it. We're using pay without the, the base form for her. No change, except for using made. My ex boyfriend loved sci-fi and made me watch every, every episode of his favorite show. So in this case, watch is in the infinite form because um, after make, we always use the infinite form. The teacher made all the students rewrite their papers because the, the first drafts were not acceptable. Again, we're using um, the base form of the verb, rewrite, because we're using made. How can we get all the employees to arrive on time? We use get. And then the employees uh, someone, and then we use uh, um, yeah, we use the, the to infinitive. And over here we have my husband hates housework. I can never get him to uh, wash the dishes. So here we're using get, and someone is him, and the to infinitive is to wash. Finally, I was nervous about eating sushi, but my brother got me to try it at a Japanese restaurant. We use got in this in here in this in this one we're using in the simple past. And then we use um, the person, which is me, and the infinitive form to try. Does that make sense for everybody? Sure. Sure. I, I yes, I don't understand what, when I can use make and get. I, I can right. decide for. Right. OK. So um, make and get, we use um, the two in the causative form to talk about uh, when you, oops, when you um, either. Hold on. Okay, so um, we use uh, make and get to talk about something that, um, like when you convince somebody, you persuade them, uh, or you even, um, you know, force them to do it, obligate them to do it. But um, mostly, a get is more general. Like you can means that you're convincing someone, you're you're persuading them, right? But make is more like almost like an obligation. It's yeah, it's almost mandatory. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. You sure? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So since you guys already got it. Give me a moment.
Okay. So, oops. Um, let me re um, erase this. I forgot to erase the drawings. Okay, um, all right, so exercise. The exercise says, use the verbs in parentheses to complete the sentences, okay? And the sentences are the following. So we have customers' attention make some companies try every sort of strategy. So in this case, we're gonna be using the word make, right? That's why we ended up with, um, We, oh, hold on. That's why we ended up with makes companies, uh, hold on. Make some companies try every sort of thing. Okay, so we have make, the companies is the somebody and tries the base form of the verb. Or the, yeah, no change, okay? And then we have to put these words in parentheses in the correct form. Does that make sense? Pretty straightforward? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get you to work in pairs. So I'm going to remake the groups. Um, and I'm going to... Give me a moment. While I make the groups, we're gonna recreate them. Okay. Give me about 10 minutes to do that. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Do we understand the exercise? Yes? Yes. Okay. Here we go then. Marketing helps businesses get customers to to buy products. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we can't make people like our products without the right strategy. We can't make people like our products without the right strategy. Teacher, ¿qué significado tiene get? Teacher, what was the question? What is the meaning? Now, meaning or translate the to get the get? It, it has it well basically means like um to persuade in this context. 
It means to persuade. You understand persuade? No. Uh, in Pero verdad que esa palabra se, se, se utiliza mucho. In this context, yes. Pero como en general. Yes, yes, but huh, exactly, yes, but different meanings in different contexts. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm. Online stores get their loyal customer to help with advertising events. The marketing director make people vote for the best ads. Help um, business. The business make their employees take on some training on marketing. Yeah. Okay, it's only that, I think. Yes, teacher. Oh, you finished everything? Yeah. Yes. Right. I'm going to see where what happened with the other groups that they're going. Okay. Okay. Online the stores. Uh, um, stores get, get their loyal customers to help with advertising events. Yes, to help. Um, I think, yes, to help with advertising. Uh, I think is get and to help. Oh, yes, me too. Okay. Mm. The marketing director. Mm. Makes people. Mm. Yes, makes. I I think because it's make main no make go with is or not yes then with s okay mm -hmm. makes um people yes. vote for the best ads okay the last one um, Top business the um, business make because it's business in plural I think is make without s Mm -hmm. okay. Make their employees take constant trainings on marketing. Oh, with that, I think. Yes, I agree. Really, I don't understand this topic. <laughs> it's like kind of confused, I think. Mm hmm. It's okay. It's, it's, okay. I don't know. it's logical. Uh, only that, right? 
we finish. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You can check over time the, the number two. Number two. Marketing help businesses help businesses. Get businesses. Customers. Get, uh, plural business. Businesses. But there is no problem because get get customer to buy product. Did you see this? It's get or get. Mm. I don't know what is next. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We can make them get. get. There is plural. Yes, yeah, but it, it, so, if you see the structure, for example, number one, companies is plural, then makes May, okay. companies. Uh -huh, no, because it's plural, this one, but this one, no. Customer attention. You have to see the first one the, mm -hmm. before the, 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 and the number one. Uh -huh. Number one, this yes. is customer. Attention is singular. It uh, refers to the attention of the customer, like the attention al cliente. Uh -huh. You can see the, the this one. This is a for the, what is the name of this? But it's plural market for this companies. And you see makes because it's a singular. Uh -huh. When it's plural. You don't have to use S in the verb. And this one is plural businesses. It's the plural of business. I okay, it. este. En el recuadro de arriba, donde señaló la picture, donde dice the marketing department makes employees. Revise. Eh, acá es parecido un poco a la number two, eh, perdón, number one, porque es companies, es más. Uh, yes, I think it depends of the is, is plural or not that you have to put the yes at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, but we can, we have to recognize if it's plural or not before.
Okay. All right. So let's. Let's uh, check the answers. Give me a moment. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, so um, all right, so let's uh, check the answers here. Customers' attention makes companies try every sort of tra uh, strategy. Number two, marketing helps businesses get customers to buy. Get okay. So marketing helps businesses get customers. To buy. Right. We get customers to buy. Why is it to buy? Because it's infinity. Yes. And why do we use the infinitive? When you use get. Exactly. We use get. Mm -hmm. We use infinity with get. We use the base form with with, with um, make. Right. Number three, we can't make 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 very good. We can't make people like like sorry, what did you say? Like like. We can make people like Lies. our product without the right strategy. Online stores Lies. get get their loyal customers to help to help to help to help mm -hmm. to help with advertising events. The marketing director may make 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 sure it's make makes 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 very good makes or makes. We say also in the past right what would be in the past made made mm -hmm. mice yeah it's also possible the marketing uh. made. Made what? My, my is my. Made people okay. what? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. For the best ads. Then final last one, top businesses. Makes. Makes, sure. My. Make. Made in, um, sorry, make. Mm -hmm. Makes it only, it's, it's going to be plural because it's their employees. And, sorry, sorry, not because it's their employees. It's because top businesses is plural. So this one has, this has to be in the plural form. And finally, we have top take. Constant training and our markets. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's let's see if you guys understand this. Tell me in Spanish. Marketing helps business get customers to buy products. How would you say that in Spanish? Eh, el mercadeo ayuda a los negocios. Mercadeo ayuda a los negocios. A conseguir clientes para comprar productos, algo así. No. ¿A los 
Sorry. Ayuda a que los negocios, perdón, sí, a que los negocios, ay, ay, no sé, me perdí, perdón. Ayuda a los negocios a obtener más clientes para que compren los productos. Uh -huh. um, okay, to be able to understand this a little bit better, I'm going to write. We can use make and get to to persuade, convince. Or, uh, or, or obligate. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Mm, so to I can make it a little smaller. To persuade the combination of Okay, so we said we can use make and get to persuade, convince, or obligate. Actually, mm -hmm. let me complete that, that train of thought. To persuade, convince, or obligate someone to do something. We can not Okay. So what does that say in Spanish? What does that say in Spanish? Tell me in Spanish, what does that say? Anybody? It's in Spanish, not in, not in English. Mercadeo ayuda a los negocios a persuadir clientes a comprar productos. Sí. Laura es una de los exitosos. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. A persuadir o convencer a los, a los a clientes a comprar productos. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay, next. We can. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. We use get and we use make in right. in this yes. sentence. Mm -hmm. In this sentence or in in these types of of sentences. What is your question? I I don't understand this topic in general. Okay, do you understand this right here? It's, um, do you understand this? Yes, because uh, say that uh, make and get uh -huh. and I don't understand. Okay, what do we use make and get in for? In what moment use? What do we use make and get for? To persuade, convince, or obligate. Yes, yes, I understand mm -hmm. this 
mm -hmm. but because in in this example uh, because in in una oración es make and other get but this but uh, pero las dos acá dice de que la esta tanto make and get se usa en para persuadir, convencer o obligar, pero entonces no sé en qué momento ponerlas. Elegir cuando, usted quiere, y otra. cuando usted quiere expresar que se persuade, que se ha persuadido o convencido o obligado a alguien a hacer algo, en su momento mm. se va a usar. O es que no sabe cuál usar, eh, cuándo usar el make y cuándo usar el get. Sí, eso. No sabe cuál, cuál de todo, cuál de las dos usar. Yes. Uh -huh. it, basically, it, it means the same thing, except that make is more like obligation, whereas get is more expressing like convincing. Get is convencer and make obligar. Yeah, it's, okay. it has more that connotation. If you say, mm -hmm. she made me do it, Significa okay. ella, me, ella me hizo hacerlo. Entonces, cuando dice ella me hizo hacerlo, es como uh -huh. que, que, que me obligó a hacerlo. Right? But if I say, okay. eh, if I say, she got me to do it. She got me to do it. It means it would be more like, eh, ella, me, ella me convenció de hacerlo. Ok. Ok. Okay. Does that make sense? Does that yes. answer your question? Mm, this is clear. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks. What are, so what about this one? We can't make people like our products without the right strategy. How would you say that in Spanish? No podemos hacer que las personas les guste nuestro producto sin estrategia correcta. Exactly. No podemos hacer que las personas les guste nuestro producto sin la estrategia correcta. Good. Online stores get their loyal customers adecuada. with advertising events. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Las tiendas. Las tiendas online en línea. Hacen. Hagan que sus clientes que no le que los sus clientes ayuden a la publicidad de su bebé. Royal Reales. Hacen que sus clientes reales ayuden con los eventos publicitarios. Ayuden con eventos publicitarios. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good. The marketing director made people vote for the best ads. El director de mercadeo, de mercadeo. Que las personas votaran por el mejor. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó con las personas? Hizo que las personas votaran por el mejor. Hicieron. Hizo que las personas votaran por el mejor. Uh, la mejor Los mejores anuncios. O anuncio de publicidad. Ok. Very good. The businesses make their employees take constant training or marketing. on marketing. What's top businesses? Top businesses. Las mejores. Las mejores. Son los mejores 
Negocios. Los mejores, los mejores negocios. Sí, los Hace mejores negocios. Los empleados Hace que, que los empleados tomen capacitaciones de marketing. Tomen capacitaciones sobre marketing. De mercadeo. Mercadeo. Muy bien. ¿Tiene sentido? ¿Está claro ahora? sobre mercadeo. ¿Está claro? Do we understand this now? Yes, yes, clear. clear. Okay, all right, perfect. We're gonna yeah. stop there. And I'm gonna take attendance. Okay. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay, Annie. Present teacher. Ana Maria. Ana Maria. Eh, Carolina. Carolina, Emily, present teacher, Hazel, eh, Joanna, present teacher, um, Jorge, present teacher, Karina, present, eh, eh, Santiago, Kevin, eh, Linda, Marlene. Present. Nelson. Carolina, present. Ah, okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. I didn't hear my name. Karina. Eh, I'm Karina. No, I know, but I said Karina, right? Y después no dije, después de Karina no dije Carla. No. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, all right, so Carla. Okay, good. Uh, Norma? Present teacher. Olga? Present teacher. Creo que me faltó entre medio Nelson, ¿verdad? Mm. O ya había dicho. Nelson, sí, creo que no. Ok. A mí, eh, yes. Very good. Olga? Uh, Olga dijo presente y se salió ah ok Miguel 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 eh, Rocío Rocío eh, Suleima y Okay, very good. Excellent. Um, Tatiana. Teacher, you didn't say my name. I didn't, I'm so sorry. Uh, Beatrice. All right. There was you. Como? Ah, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Um, okay, good. Um, uh, Nelson G. Sorry, Nelson I. I'm sorry, Nelson A. Get a little bit. No, right? Uh, Omar. Suleima Melgar. And Josue Rodrigo. Present teacher, I am here. Okay, great. Thank you very much. <laughs> que me sacó en último momento, pero aquí estoy. Okay, that's okay. No problem. Okay. Eh, para que no, nunca se conectó. Ahora creo que no. No, right? Hoy creo que no. Okay, perfect. No, all right, no, guys. No, no, no. So that will be all. Uh, don't forget to work on the platform. And I will see you tomorrow. Eh, el día de hoy uh, me quedo con eh, Beatriz. No.
Ok, eso es todo, chicos. Sí. Okay. Bye, bye. 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 Okay. All right. Hello, Beatriz. Hello, teacher. ¿Qué te dice tu mente? ¿Cómo? ¿Me puede oír? Uh -huh. Sí, la escucho un poquito lejito, pero sí la puedo, lo, lo, la logro escuchar. Okay. Es el ventilador. Es el calor. Mm -hmm. sí. Está bien, no hay problema. Eh, cuénteme cómo... ¿Cómo le va? ¿Cómo, eh, cómo siente ahí el, el, la clase, el tema? El tema, pienso que es de estructura, es gramática realmente, de prestar uh -huh. atención a la estructura, a memorizarla. Sería, pues, ahora aprendí esa parte, para mí antes era como el page form en Infinity, era lo mismo, pero ahora pues, me quedó. Ah, ok, ajá. Porque, no sé, había confundido esas dos cosas. Y luego vi que el infinitive es como que por ley debe, debe llevar el to. El to, uh -huh. ajá. Y el otro, pues, es el verbo normal, ¿verdad? Sin nada, sin sí, el bueno. ing, sin nada de eso. Exacto, exacto, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, lo que va a determinar simplemente cuál palabra vamos a usar, el make o el, o el, o el get, cualquiera de esos Ajá, quizás la mayor dificultad en ese tema es esa parte de definir en qué momento yo voy a usar make y en qué momento voy a usar get. Los dos significan la misma cosa, solo que eh, make um, lo hace un poquito como más como que fue como obligación. ¿Verdad? Tiene ese con, esa connotación. Pero cualquiera de dos está bien. Lo puedo utilizar. Ok. okay. Sí, esa parte era la única que me quedó así como en duda, pero de ahí lo demás me ha quedado bastante claro realmente. Como es más que todo de ver la estructura. Uh -huh. Estamos bien. Sí, correcto, tiene toda razón. Aún hay cosas en las que me, me quedó como un poco de dificultad. Es, si yo no me equivoco, en la tercera persona es que utilizamos el, la S en los verbos, ¿verdad? Cuando uh -huh. lo mencionamos. Uh, for he, she, and it. Ajá, entonces, pero me queda duda, por ejemplo, cuando dice customer services, es porque es una institución y ya se convierte en it. Customer service. Ajá. Customer service es solo un departamento. Pero es como que dijéramos, lo reemplazáramos por it y por eso es que llevaba ese verbo. Exacto. Exactamente, correcto. Uh -huh. Creo que solo eso. Ok. ¿Segura que solo eso era la inquietud? En people no aplicaría porque son de ¿verdad? Eso sería. Sí, solo eso. ¿Sí? Ok. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Eh, bueno, entonces en ese caso, eh, la vería esta mañana. Ok. okay. Así que descanse y nos vemos mañana. Okay. Muchas gracias, okay. teacher. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.